guys, so today we are gonna be doing a food haul and go to Whole Foods. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> I have no makeup, nothing. I have my sunglasses that are perfect for driving in like cloudy weather. And my homemade, uh, homemade, literally I just finished sewing this. It's uh, my mask. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Okay guys, let me take these ridiculous glasses off. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the filming to my phone only because I just realized it's gonna be a little sketchy if I bring my camera into Whole Foods. I've never really vlogged with my camera out and about and I don't think I'm quite comfortable with doing it. So I'm gonna use my phone, so I'm sorry if the quality isn't the best, but that's what we have and that's what we're working with. This is crazy. I'm still like shook that we live in times where we have to wear masks and everything. Okay, so here we go. Get yourself a probiotic. It does wonder for your gut. I get the Bio Kids. It's a little bit cheaper and doesn't have as many cultures. And the strawberry flavor is just the best one to go. Then I decided I want to make some sushi, so I want to get myself some salmon slices. And then I realized. I kind of want turkey sandwiches this week, so I'm gonna get me some turkey slices too. 365 brand is amazing. Then I wanted some corn tortillas, cause I'm like, ooh, gotta make those wraps. Now we making our way downtown to the tomato sauces and I get myself tomato basil. Da -na 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 -na. I'm too short so I had to reach. Da -na. So you get a pretty good amount. I've never tried this before, but I hear it's bar. So chickpea pasta is like a hidden secret, I feel like. It is so good, it tastes just like pasta, and you're getting a lot more nutrition. I realized I wanted some, some <laughs> snacks, and by snacks, I mean some chips and some crackers. So I got the one with Himalayan salt, and with this one, there's so many different flavors, I didn't know which one to pick. So then I realized I wanted to make some yogurt parfaits too. And so I got some blueberry flax. And also Purely Elizabeth is a good brand. I feel like I got the original. Yeah, I got the original, but I hear the vanilla is good too. And Kamut is like those puffs. They're really good. They don't really taste like anything. They're just great to have on your yogurt too. And then I wanted like some substance when I make it and so I can add to my smoothies too. So I got some of these like little Justin almond butter packs. Fun fact, I'm allergic to peanut butter so we are working with what we got. And of course I dipped into some chocolate because I was craving that and there was a sale for two for five. Then I got some tea. It went really fast but I got chamomile tea with butterfly pea tea which is like, makes the tea blue. And then I got some chai tazo. Then I get this pancake mix. Never tried that before, but it looked really good and enticing. Now these are amazing. I just wanna say these soy nuggets taste like regular nuggets, you know, like when you get Chinese food, but without like those ligaments getting stuck in your teeth, the flavor is just bomb. Now I've never tried these, but these noodles were really cool because they were only 20 calories and it was just tofu. And then I also got some barbecue tofu and barbecue jackfruit. And jackfruit, the consistency kind of is like chicken or pork, like pulled pork or stuff like that. So I'm trying that. I got myself some almond milk yogurt. And then I'm gonna show you right now, I got some coconut yogurt, vanilla flavored of course. And then for the sushi, I got the seaweed, and then last but not least, I got myself some coffee. Oh my gosh, I did not know I spent that much money. <laughs> my family is gonna kill me. <laughs> so we're back at home. We literally have this table separate 
from everything else whenever we go to the shop we bring it home and we put it on this table so there are a lot of food stacked on each other and we keep it there for about two to three days before we open them because they're dry ingredients and we can't wash them for corona time but anyways i wanted to give you a better idea of the food i got since when i was filming in the store sometimes i moved fast so i hope you get a better idea now and vitamin c powder is really good to add to smoothies Heike recommend hey guys so that concludes our um whole food experience today i did spend over a hundred dollars so it wasn't cheap i usually don't shop at whole foods but a lot of people were raving over those certain items that i got and i just wanted to see what the hype was and if it was worth doing that. Uh, yeah, so if you like these type of videos, let me know. I don't shop exclusively at Whole Foods, so if you like them, I could do them at other places like my local ShopRite or King's and Acme or something like that. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll do possibly another video on if the food was worth it or not, if it was good, bad, would I buy it again, and such. But thank you. This is a little different video that kind of showed you some of the things that I like to eat or would like to eat because I haven't tried some of them. But anyways, thank you again for watching and tuning in. See you next time.